Welcome back to Supercard. So I'm trying to see if this will put the shadow figures on here. There was an update uh, about two hours ago from when this will be published. Where if you remember back in season one, there would be they had shadow figures for. Sorry, I know that light gets in the way. They had shadow figures who would appear on the home screen. Uh, I think they, they did it for Bret Hart. He, he was the first Shadow Man, the Mist Man all that, and I think they did it for the, the WrestleMania Fusions as well, so there are two new ones, the, they appear together. Of course, there's no full-on confirmation, but it's it's Sasha Banks and, and Becky Lynch, that's, that's who it is. So now we know they're either going to be in the next PCC, if they are, I hope it's not legendary, and I am not going for first place again. Um, no, it's not happening. Not even in Team PCC, which I'll talk about. Is I'm not even going to go for first in that. But if you saw that King of the Rings said waiting on players, I actually, this is the second time I'm recording this, um, the recording program I use, um, because I, I move my computer around a lot. I, I have to unplug a lot of the things in here, like I've got USBs in for the mouse, uh, this, this camera, and for my... From my, from my microphone. So that's got to be plugged in and I've got to set it up in the in the settings for recording that that's what I use. I, I monumentally screwed up and was recording with a microphone that's that's in the computer which I think in like maybe the first might have even the first like four episodes that I ever did F Supercard was all recorded like that. And it just sounds it's it's just an awful jumbled mess of a noise. And I recorded the entire episode, I press stop on the recording, and then the preview comes up. And it was just blasting, completely blasting over a you that you couldn't even understand what I was saying. And you know, I tried playing around with the audio a little bit. And I said, oh, no, 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 I, I, I can't put this out there. That's, uh, it was absolutely awful. And, of course, now, from now on, I'm going to double-check all of my settings. I hope I got it right this time, though, because I, I don't want to constantly start over retrying to get everything. But, um, yeah, Star Wars Battlefront comes out tonight. Got my ad at shirt on. Oh. To, I love this shirt. It's awesome. Uh, so I'm going to be wearing that out tonight. I actually have a pair of Vans. Like, Vans are my favorite shoes of all time. And I think for my last birthday, my parents got me Vans that were Star Wars themed. So I'm planning on wearing those. I, I love Star Wars. The fact that I have, I have an MRI coming up to the, the thing to deal with my arm, my shoulder. I went in because it's at the hospital I work at. I went into the scheduling today and I said, hey, uh, we got to change that date, because uh, when originally they said, you know, uh, your MRI is booked for December 17th at 8.50 at night, and I was thinking to myself, like, okay, the, the 17th sounds familiar to me, but uh, I said, okay, yeah, whatever, whatever, book it, I'll do it, and then the very next day, one of our family friends came over, who we're going with to the theater, and it clicked into my head. I can't have the MRI at that time. I need to be in the movie theater. I need to watch Star Wars. So I went in today and I told them that. I said, hey, uh, we got to reschedule because I'm not missing Star Wars. <laughs> Some of the people I work with, they said, you know, you've been waiting. You've been waiting ages to get this MRI so you can find out what's wrong. And I said, well, I've been waiting years to watch this Star Wars movie. As upset as I was when Episode 7 was announced because... You know, six were good. <laughs> One through six were very enjoyable. I liked them a lot. Um, you know, I've, you know, all aboard the hype train. I'm, I'm very excited for episode seven. Especially because I've been watching videos like episode seven, The Bink Awakens, and stuff like that, where I hate Jar Jar Binks like with a fiery passion. But I won't lie, those videos are funny. So, 
with Team PCC, as we know, that's going to be Monday to Wednesday or something like that. It's, it's going to be the beginning of the week, which I'm already not a fan of. If they do it Monday to Wednesday and then that leaves the events Thursday to Sunday. I'm telling you, after an event, after any of the events, I don't like to really play this game after that. I get burnt out, especially from PCC, especially after going for first place. I barely touched this game. I think I played maybe five games a day, and I would log in just to add on to the login bonus. That was it. Because it really takes a lot out of you if you're pushing that high. So with Team PCC, there are no event cards in Team PCC. Like, you can't win any. So, you know, there's no point in buying title matches because first place, you only get a card of, you know, the highest tier available for, like, if we had one this week because Survivor tier is not out, that would mean first place or the highest ranked card you could get is a legendary card. And if they offer stuff like Jack Swagger, like they did for Road to Glory, even if it makes a pro, who cares? It's Jack Swagger. Uh, I believe he's the Ryback of this game. Like, lowest stats. So that's awful. And with the the maintenance that happened during um, Road to Glory, I don't know if it happened to any of you. It happened to me and my team. Our team got deleted after, after the network uh, went down or whenever they did their maintenance or whatever. I didn't even notice until like the next day. I remember I you know I read some threads on the forum of people saying, "Oh, I got kicked out of my team. Like I don't know what happened. I I know I'm soup. My deck is super rare, and everyone else was legendary deck. Uh, well, maybe I got kicked because I wasn't so active. Stuff like that. Which unfortunately, that kind of stuff happens. If you know if you're in a legendary team. Like, you know, 9 out of the 10 are legendary, and you're that 10th who is a super rare, ultra rare. You may, you might get kicked, because, of course, Team PCC, it takes from the pool of your team deck. So that will affect them. But, um... And I remember, th I, I, I would think to myself, like, oh god, I hope that doesn't happen to me. I... I don't... This game's stupid. Uh, I, I would think, oh god, I, like, you know, I hope that doesn't happen to me. I don't want to log in one day and I'm gone from my team. It'd be devastating because I'm quite, uh, quite chatty with my team. And, you know, I log in and the team's gone. I'm thinking, what the hell? What the hell happened? But um, our team, we chat on a, on a, on a separate website, and they were able to get, they were able to get my email through that and they emailed me say hey I didn't check the chat that's, that's my fault but uh, they had gotten in touch with me saying hey this is what happened blah 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 so we were able to salvage most of the team we got 9 out of the 10 original members we couldn't get in touch with the 10th guy so we filled a spot and then the 10th guy came back and we are like well we kind of feel like dicks if we just kick the other guy out um, of course that's that's ongoing we'll figure that out but, um, yeah, this is going to be our last game. But, yeah, 9 out of 10. It's not bad. We've got a good team. Um, the guy that we did get to fill in, we're happy with his deck, his, his team deck. He's got, he's got some good cards. He's got the Nikki, which helps out a lot. And that's good enough for us, really. So, no legendary pull. I haven't had a legendary pull in a while. The last time I got one was before Road to Glory. I got an Eve which made a single, which left only Nikki left as the only diva for Legendary I was missing. Nikki was my King of the Ring rewards. So now I have every single diva. I'm able to make every Legendary diva a pro, essentially, because I have the singles of every one. I've already got a Cameron pro, got two Bree pros, got a Naomi pro, and there's a single. I got a single Natalia. I've got a pro page, and I've already got another single. And now we've got Nikki. We've got every diva essentially right now until they add Bailey. We've got every diva and I it was within five board resets. I got another legendary card and it was a it was a table. I already have one of those, so 
didn't help me out at all. But I wish, you know, imagine if you could pro your support cards. I think that'd be ridiculous. I'd have a legendary table pro with like minus 150 power. It'd just be absolutely ridiculous, but I love it. So anyways, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. Please take care.